All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? The beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice Whoa! kick. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's hurt. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he moved right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, 
really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Big. Oh. into these big leg kicks. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. And they set it. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Came up. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That was a jab. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. No problem. Relax. The takedowns didn't go your way last round. And we know how to fix it. Nice. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Big head kick lands. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Don't back up. Push forward. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. What a body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there.
far. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick really had him out of them. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Connects with a right. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh! one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta's call to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by knockout! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 